Okay, Philip, I'm going to bring you in. Okay. I think Philip might be here. He's just sent me a text. Okay. Last chance. Last chance. Nope. Last chance. Here we go. See you all. See you all. See if you can join, Philip. See if you can join. See if we can join. Here we go. Here we go. Come on. Yeah, okay. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, please. 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 Otherwise, we'll do it next week. Here we go. He's here. Sorry, Lauren. Didn't mean to be rude. Philip? Hello. Oh, my am I, word. Am I there? I can <laughs> hear you. Right. Have you oh. got a picture? I've got a picture. It's a lovely picture. It's happening. Have we got you, though? Um, yes. Am I there? Fantastic. You're there. Hello. Hello, Ed. Hello, everybody. So sorry about that. <laughs> Well done. Oh, oh. I can't see you, but... Um, you can't I see can me. I can hear you, so that's, that's lovely. That's I all I need. I can see you. Are you might be... Are you sort of... Are you quite out of range? You want to... On a, on a... Well, out of the six. Yeah, yes. Well, what's your Wi-Fi connection like? Normally pretty good. There Normally you go. It's good. good. Okay. Great. And you, but you oh, can't lovely. see me. No, 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 no. Okay. But I know what you look like. Oh, yeah. no, I can't. <laughs> Hello. Hello there. Hello, Hello there. That's it to do, wasn't it? Well done. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. No, it's it's um. How's your day been? The day's been all right, actually. It got a little stressful over the past half hour, but um, yeah. yeah, it's been good. So I've just been been writing today. Yeah, and uh, so I've been been sat here at, in my uh, studio at home. So um, yeah. How's your day been? Uh, I had I had the vaccine yesterday. Ah, okay. Have you had it yet? Yeah, I had it about a week ago. How did you feel afterwards? Do, do you know, initially it was yeah. fine. Yeah. And then, um, and then I actually felt a little bit kind of man fluey. Yeah. Totally. Feel for it as well. I, but, I um... last yesterday. I got it yesterday at lunchtime. I felt fine. And then uh, at night, that classic thing. The man flu set in. Yeah. But I'm definitely feeling better now. I just, it was that classic thing of, of you know, sweats and, and all of that. Oh, I didn't get anything as dramatic as that. No, oh, I, <laughs> mate, I got, I got, I got the man flu. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. So, so where, where are you? you at the moment, then, Ed? I'm in London. I'm in London. Where are you? In Oxford. Yeah. And are you? Um, it's Easter. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. Yeah. It's, it's funny because Easter's are one of those funny times of the year, isn't it? It's like I was, I was thinking about like, it used to be such a big deal, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah. This one's crept up on me. I didn't, I mean, then again, this past year, everything's crept up on me. So yeah. <laughs> kind of any sense of, of where we are in the calendar has gone out the window really, hasn't it? I know, but it's, I think it's also uh, the nature of, you know, Easter when we were kids, it was, it was, it was a lot, it was a lot more dramatic in a way. It was like, it was Christmas and Easter, wasn't it? It was those two times. And it was, it was, Easter was a big, I and mean, it wasn't so much the religious sense of it, I don't think. It was more about bank holiday. And Easter the chocolate. And the yeah, chocolate. Absolutely. <laughs> and the yeah, chocolate. Yeah. Still about the chocolate. Still about the cho chocolate. Yeah. <laughs> It's all about the chocolate, and it's it was all of yeah. It, but it was it was an, it was, yeah. It just maybe it's it's just different times, isn't it? It's just moved on. It's no longer like that. Yeah. So how you've been been writing, haven't you? No. Well, I've been trying to, but I've, I've been, I uh, I just really struggle with it. I've really struggled. I had a I I, I just didn't I, I i don't know how you find it but um 
I find there has to be a certain vitality. I need a certain okay. vitality. And I just haven't had it. And I just, I've, I've had little bits. I feel it's coming back. So, uh, yeah. I mean, I realized that I was like today when I was with the man first, I was like lying there and I was going, oh my God, I've done nothing in a year. I've just like, you know, I felt like I've done nothing yet. And that's not quite true. But um, I had one of those... Uh, those uh, mini crises when you go like, well, what have I been doing? I've been like wasting my life away. Um, no, so uh, how about yourself? How have you found the writing? Initially, I, it was like you. It was yes. that whole thing of, um, you know, I was very much a lapsed musician last year. Yeah. So, so this year's been, been about getting back up to speed. And, uh, and it takes a while. It really has taken me a while. Yeah. Um, but it, it's the mundane side of things, isn't it? Which you have to get in, back in place first. Yep. Establishing those routines again. Yeah. And um, just actually kind of having faith that actually trusting in the process that you will get back, back to that point again. It's that thing, isn't it? It's like, I think they say in yoga that they say, even just going to the mat, you have to turn up at the mat. It's exactly. like, and it's establishing a, a pattern, isn't it? A rhythm to the day, you know. It's, I, I agree with you totally. And I, I just haven't, I've been so exhausted. I think I've had, you know, for whatever, been, been pretty down and all of that. So that, that has now, but that's good. So when do you start, when do you start recording? So I start mid-May. Great. Uh, so I've got another, oh, how long, till, till about six weeks before do the you, session start. Do you want to share with everyone who you're going to be doing with, or do you feel do you feel comfortable doing that? Oh, um, well, yeah, I guess I could. Yeah, not not shared it yet, have I? Come on, I'm, I'm very very lucky. Um, the producer and mixer Marta uh, Salonyi has um, agreed to, to produce the record and mix it, which is exciting. Great. Um, and Marta, I worked with initially about six six seven years ago when i was doing my second solo album and i did all the vocal sessions with marta at the at the time turns out it was her first um engineering wow uh, freelance uh session was but she at the strong room was she at strong rooms yes yeah, she was yeah but she she i mean she's incredible yeah and is uh she has just accumulated so much experience. You see, I've got that really, uh, that real interest in, in sonics and, and, um, and she just, yeah, you know, it's, it's just having, having somebody that you can, you, you trust in, in their taste. Yeah. When you're working with them. That's and key, isn't it? Absolutely. And um, so, yes, Marta's producing it. Um, and then uh, I want to be joined by, by various musicians. So um, Quinta, who I've done a lot of work with yeah. um, on, on the solar albums and on the soundtracks, which I've done. Um, uh, Adrian Utley as well. Oh, brilliant. So, yeah, Adrian, we, we, Quinta, Adrian and I, Worked together on the. Cause you came to the Rombert. I came, to, yeah, come to the Rombert at Saddle as well. So it was brilliant. Yeah. He's, he's amazing. Oh, yeah, he is. He's incredible. Yeah. Um, yeah. So really looking forward to that. So we're kind of uh, reviving that little partnership that was. Oh, that'd be great. That. I I um, was I was texting with Adrian the other day. He's we were uh, he, uh, text often text about gear or bits guitar pedals. So we saw the yeah. notes. He's brilliant. Yeah, absolutely. And um, so, and then who else? And uh, I'm uh, going to be working with uh, Laura Moody, who I've done a lot of string work with um, before. Um, I don't know Laura. What's where's is she? Is she an arranger? Yeah. Well, the, the um, if you remember um, the Elysian Quartet. Yeah. Um, Laura is part of. Uh, was part of the Elysian Quartet. Ah. I've worked quite a bit with them. Yeah. Uh, and so, yes, be working with Laura. And then towards the end of the session, um, Hannah Peel's going to be coming and joining me. Oh, wow. <laughs> week. Wow. So, and so let's see where it all 
That's, that's really. mental. That's really good because she's just brought out that album, hasn't she? Yeah, Fair Wave. Have yeah. You heard it? No, I've I've heard I haven't heard all of it. I've heard a couple of tracks off it. it and I really love it. Yeah, no, she's because she um, the way that one came about, she had um, access to the Delia Derbyshire. That's right. Uh, archive, and so yeah. she's kind of used that as the, the starting point. But I mean, what she's she's crafted there is fantastic, and she's you know she's she's got a very very um, uh, particular voice, her own voice throughout everything. But she's really versatile. Yeah. Have, are you um, so with the record? Have you got an idea of how it's going to be, or are you just going to kind of get into flow and see? Because if you like, you put all those elements in. There's a huge kind of unknowing, isn't there? It's like a, it's like an adventure. Yeah, I've got this fantasy in my head at the moment of of, this, of what the scenario would be, and it would be um, uh, an album that Carol King and Daphne Oren did together oh. and they invited me to drum on. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I can dream on, can't I? Oh, <laughs> so that's kind of that's where it is in in my head. Oh, moment. that listen, that's 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 the world needs that. <laughs> <laughs> that would be we'll amazing. See. We'll see, but I mean, I'm just so excited to work with everybody Man, on this that's... one because they are amazing musicians. Yeah, brilliant people. Yeah, you know. Um, so, yeah. It's going to be, it's so, and you're going, are you working all the, all the way through the summer on this one then? You are, aren't you? That's right, yeah. Great. So recording through uh, May, June, July, mixing in September. Great. Uh, I've got to, I've got, I've even got a deadline. It's the beginning of October. Wow. Deadlines. We Have you got of, a release date? We kind of forget those in Radiohead at points, don't we? We haven't had a deadline for years. <laughs> <laughs> there are no deadlines. No, that's good. No, yeah, you can come in. Una wants to come and say hello. Oh, hi, Una. How are you? She can't hear you because I got my ears. He's saying how oh, are you? I I'm see. doing good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Excellent. <laughs> oh, do you, do you, do you want your dad on these? Yeah, no, she's never joined. No. no oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. <laughs> and Susan as well. Yeah. Um, okay, I've got something for you. Whilst yeah. I was lying there with man flu, okay, yeah. I thought, I started laughing. I thought, I wanted to ask you, I thought, I thought, we obviously go back a very, very long way. So yeah. I wanted to go back to that long, long way. Okay. And I thought, because it's April Fool's Day, mm -hmm. I would do you an Easter quiz. Oh, okay. <laughs> and this is all about our stuff. Yeah, but it's nothing about the music. It's all about the other stuff, the okay. incidentals. So, okay, I'm going to test out your memory as to how good your memory is on. A long so you, time ago, Ed. I know, but <laughs> I, I'm, I, let's let's try it. Okay, go on then. So this is the April Fool's Easter quiz. Yeah. So question one. I'm going to have to put my glasses on. It's two of us with glasses. Yeah. That stage of life. Name the person who we collected the keys from when booking Clifton Hamden Village Hall. Oh, no, that's an interesting question. <laughs> I can picture the house. Yeah, the cottage. Uh, um, oh, uh, you don't have to give her first name. No. It begins with an S. Mrs... Uh, Saunders. Miss, not bad. Mrs. Scott. Ah. Neil Poir. And for a bonus point, do you know how much it cost us for four hours? £12. Spot on. You get the <laughs> bonus point. <laughs> £12 for a four-hour rehearsal. We're talking 1987. Okay. Second question. Where were we... And what were we doing when the back of your beetle caught fire? So, yes, that was a momentous um, <laughs> time. Uh, we were working together yeah. Yeah. at Oxford University Press. Yeah. We'd gone out on our lunch hour. I can't remember why. But Do you we... know where, we're, where we were going? So if you get the road right, well, then you'll know where we're going. Well, we were on Mansfield Road. Yeah. 
Uh, and so were we going to, I don't know, pub? ABC oh. Music. Ah, okay. Why did we park there then? Well, we're on the way back. Ah, oh, right. Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you get another point. Very good. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Question number three. Right. Which village hall did we not settle up the £20 bill? Didn't we? That's atrocious. I know, it was very naughty. Okay, so, uh, okay, village halls that we um, rehearsed in. Yeah. Clifton Hamden. Clifton Hamden. Um, Buckland. Buckland. Shippen. Shippen, popular. Steventon or Drayton? Yes, Steventon. They're all villages, uh, everybody, in outside <laughs> Oxfordshire. Yeah. In Oxfordshire. Okay. It wasn't any of those. None we, of those. We did there once. Wooten? No. No? You're not going to get it. Okay. I, I will want to get it. I want to get it. It's where the management office was, is. Really? Sutton Courtney? Did we? Sutton, we did, we, unfortunately, did we, did we, we didn't. Did we not pay for management? No, we did, we did it. <laughs> inadvertently, we did a runner from there. We didn't mean to, and we did. Right. And uh, I think we paid them back years later being uh, good citizens. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you've got one point out of three so far. All right, question number four. Hmm. Name the other band that was on the bill at our first Jericho Tavern gig. This is easy. Subways of Jazzy. Subways of Jazzy. <laughs> 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 Do you remember... When we went up to the guy, we, and we, we, we turned up, and uh, so this is, do you, know the, do you know what month and year this is? So that would have been uh, uh, like about June 87? July 86. July, August 86. Yeah, fine. <laughs> so we turn up, and the guy says, we said to him, he said, so what's your name? He said, we're on a Friday. So what's your, what's your name? And he went, we're Subways of Jazzu. Uh, and we were yeah. like, oh, great name. Yeah, <laughs> great name. <laughs> okay, all right. Move. Question number six, five. What yeah. was the number and the street? Of can, you can you hear me? Yeah. Can, can you repeat that one? Yeah, can you hear me? Okay, so what was the number and the name of the house? The number... The number of the house and the street that we we all lived in in East Oxford. Easy. Yeah. Number three. Yeah. And it was Richfield Road. Very good. Easy. So that's an easy, that's the second point. Yeah, I kind of didn't spend an awful lot of time there at the end. Though. Well, we'll get on to that. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Question number six. What did we find stuck down the side of the armchair when we moved into number three, Richfield Road? Uh, the, it was the uh, <laughs> former owner's... A uh, bus pass and a pork pie. And a half-eaten pork pie. Yeah. I know. It was the, I don't remember the bus pass, but I remember the, the, the half-eaten pork pie down the side of the... Oh. Yeah. Okay, so you, excellent. Times were hard then, though. I they mean, were. <laughs> that was super, that was. <laughs> that was super. <laughs> All right. Okay, so back to Three Ridgefield Road. When yeah. Colin was ill with flu and he yeah. moved into your bedroom whilst you were away, yeah. how did you feel when you got back or you heard about this? Was it A, compassionate? Always. B, bemused? Or Maybe. C, utterly appalled? Um, can, I, can I answer to yes to all of them? You, I think it was probably all of them, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, but he wasn't very well at the time. He was... wasn't, and he had a tiny bedroom. No, he didn't. He had the box room. He had a big room. No, I had a big room. You had a big room. He had a small room. Did he? Yeah, he had the small room. He had the box room. That's why he moved into your room. Oh, okay. No, it's oh, fair enough. Unless you had the small room. Did you have the small room? I think I had the small room. But I don't... Uh, I just... Okay. I've well, done whatever. a lovely job of decorating it, so... Um, <laughs> It was probably... <laughs> Whatever way, it was very strange. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. So... But you see, that set us up for tour bus life, didn't it? Yeah, it really Living did. The Field Road. Yeah. Colin didn't... Someone said Colin caught the flu from eating a half-eaten pork pie. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Okay, is this, this might, I, this is, I hope this is of interest to other people. Yeah. Uh, just because th there's nothing about the music which I thought was absolutely deliberate. Okay, all right. Um, at which venue and when did our managers completely disown us after an awful gig? Oh, that's an easy one. Yeah. That was uh, Bath Moles. Bath Moles, and do you remember why? Uh, because we were shocking. Yeah. Um, we'd... Um... Uh, we'd just finished recording Pablo Honey, the first album, and uh, I think we thought we were bee's knees and thought we could just turn up and, and it would just happen. And we were so out of practice, yeah. we were so, I think that's probably about the most arrogant we'd been going into a show. Ever. Yes. I think we'd had a couple of beers as well, which we never did. We had yeah. a couple of beers before we went on stage, like, oh, we got this. <laughs> Got Bath Moles. And I remember it was, it, I remember Bryce explaining it to us. He said, he said it was like, um, it was like uh, uh, someone turned to them and said, do you know, do you know who this band are? And both him and Chris were like, no, nah, I've never seen them Breaking before. <laughs> I did, um, I went out to, uh, on a road trip for a documentary that the Independent Venue Week yeah. were doing. It's I know. I, I've been trying to get to see it. I can't see it anywhere. I've been trying it's to on, It's on iPlayer now. BBC oh, iPlayer. brilliant. Okay, so great. Only, only if you and UK, I'm afraid. But, okay. um, um, and the very first venue that we went to on that road trip was Bath Moles. Wow. And it just kind of, it all came back. <laughs> really? It's just the <laughs> <a> shame. <laughs> Is it exactly the same? Does it look the same? Yeah, it, it, felt, it felt very familiar. Yeah. You know? there and does it feel does it feel a lot smaller when you go back to them or does it feel you know feels right does it gee um no i mean kind of your memory of the places i think it is quite yeah. accurate and um you know you it, i think what comes back from it is just the sense of an event around it as well you know, I think because at, at that point, I mean, each gig did feel like a real event. It yeah. was uh, going off and playing at all these venues that you'd, you'd heard of around the country and really still got that sense of going, going to them. Yeah. Um, you know, it's funny, like I went on, there's this thing called, I, you don't know, I didn't realise it existed called, just because I was thinking, oh, when was that? There's this, there's this site called Set List FM. And yeah. it lists all the gigs that we've ever done. And mm. it splits them up into each country. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, you know, like, I think we've done like 355 shows in America. Something like 345 shows in the Is UK. That, is that all we've done in the States? It feels like a lot more. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. I, but 350 pounds. Anyway, sounds like a lot. Well, it is a lot. Um, but... Yeah, it was amazing. All that first two years, how many gigs we did, we just covered in those first two years. And like you said, all those places. And I think Moles, we went back to five times. Uh, but I think we played there about five or six times in total. Was it yeah, Jan? Jan at Bath Moles. She Absolutely. was the promoter. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yes. And it, and it is. Um, I mean, going back through those, those archives, it, they, there are shows that you forget yeah. that you've played and then yeah. you come back and then, then it just all comes completely comes from, back in wow. full Wow. Okay, next question. Where are we? Question number seven. Uh, so we had the managers disown us. Okay. I can tell you actually Radio oh, that was it. Yes, I am reading the comments as they come up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so at which town and venue were we playing when the infamous Corby Trouser Press incident happened? So I should explain to people. <laughs> so it was back in the days when we used to share rooms. And you shared with Tom, I shared with Colin, and Johnny yeah. shared with our tour manager, Tim Greaves. And we were staying at a place, and we went to the top of this we got taken up to our, we, they're all bed, they're guest houses, aren't they? Bed and breakfast. They're not hotels. Yeah. And I remember going to, Colin and I got taken up to this attic room and it was huge. And um, we then came, I came down to see you and Tom in your room and it was tiny. 
And it was just like, shit, you know, we don't want to give away the fact that we've got this really nice. So there was this whole play on that we were like, you've got to, t- you've got a Corby trouser press. We don't have a Corby trouser press. <laughs> it's been my radio request ever since. I don't know. I, can't, I won't stay anywhere without a Corby trouser press. Now. And it lasted for a while. Yes, it, it did. For, it lasts for, so do you remember where that was? Uh, Stafford. Not far, Kidderminster. Kidderminster, okay. And what was the venue in Kidderminster called? Ooh, Psychic Cow? No, the... Uh, oh, 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 Market Tavern? Market Tavern. And you've got any idea approximately the date? Um, that would have been in... Uh, no, 92, about February 92? No, 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 way no, off? No, no, way no. Off? year later. Anyone can play guitar at all. Oh, 93, okay, no. so February 93. Yeah, March the 2nd, 1993. Kidderminster Market Tavern. Okay. Yeah, all right. Very close, and our van broke down as well. And our van broke down. Yes. Um, all right, so... Uh, so how am I doing? What, what, you're doing you've, got about, you've got about four points out of eight. You're doing okay. You're, you're very, actually, okay. your memory is it's pretty good. All right. <laughs> I'm, there's a cont- okay, I like this one. So. <laughs> All right. Which French city did the following occur? Oh, no, it's a laundry incident. <laughs> so I should explain it. So you, Colin, and Johnny went to the laundrette where Johnny mistakenly puts his red pants in yours and Colin's whitewash, which was subsequently put at a boil wash, and all the white garments came out pink. Do you remember the name of the city? Was it Wren? No. No? No. Was it Montpellier? No. No? No, no. no. Lyon? No. no. Just keep on going through French yeah. cities. I get there. I don't think you'll get it. No, okay. It was Nancy. Ah, okay. And do you remember the name of the venue? You're not going to remember the name of the venue. No, no, not okay. at all. Cine 3000. And the, for a bonus question, what, was, what, was, what, was, what were your items of clothing that really uh, got, uh, that came out badly? I didn't do too badly off that one. It was <laughs> Colin suffered the most on that one, I think. And we've suffered ever since about I mean, I, resentment I, about it. I remember, I, I remember that, that I see, because I, our dressing was in a children's school. I remember looking out the window, like Colin berating Johnny, like, how could you do that? And, and sort of inferring that because Johnny and Colin's mum had always done Johnny's washing and hadn't done Colin's, that this was, that that was the effect of it, because he was actually spoilt by his mum, whereas Colin hadn't been. Yeah, I, I, I think I probably took some of the blame on that one, though, as well. I don't think I was... Um... No, yeah, Colin, well, <laughs> not, not as far as Colin was concerned. <laughs> OK. Um, and, OK. All right, now this one, I'm not, sure, I'm not sure whether I should ask this one. This is the last question, but I'm going to. OK. Because of the spirit here. Right, OK, let me just... Sorry, I've just... Uh, the last question... Okay, so we were at a venue. I want, to name the, I want you to name the venue where yep. you legitimately lost, I... lost your rag at us because we were Never being... Never have. It, but no, because... <laughs> so what happened was uh, because, we, because we'd done an interview with a certain publication and... Uh, someone had been joking about the nickname that we gave you, which wasn't true. It was like a pathetic thing. Do you remember? Oh, no, I've lost you. Have you, back. can you hear me? You're back. Can you? Yeah, and, but okay. now I can, I, I can fill in, I can fill in what were you going to ask? What was the nickname? Okay. Yeah, no, yeah. Uh, what's the venue? Do you remember what the vo- venue was? Oh. Um, was it in... Um, Philadelphia? No, it was in it was in Britain. Oh, okay. Um, was it in Hull? No. Oh, you're not going to get it. It was on. No, it was on. The, it was on the Benz <laughs> tour. Yeah. It was at the Aberdeen Lime Tree. Really? 
really? Yeah. And did we, I lose it? Yeah, yeah, no, it was, it was, you did because, and quite <laughs> legitimately, because we'd done this interview with uh, Melody Maker. Yeah. And the journo had, had put uh, Phil Mad Dog Selway. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I remember the, the, the name. <laughs> oh, that's so embarrassing. I'm so no, it's, no, it's embarrassing on our part because it was one of those <laughs> stupid kind of, this is typical of the band that was formed at school, some kind of classic kind of, kind of ribbing that goes on. And... Uh, yeah, it was just, it was pathetic on our part and you were so right. And I remember you were like, <laughs> right. So yeah, you did very well. You got five out of 10. That's 50%. Yeah. And yeah. That's a pass. Exactly. You did very well. Um, it was funny because I was lying there and I was, I, it's funny because you don't ever, we, you, you know, we never reminisce about what went on before. You were thinking that, we? in your, your, your sweaty feverish state. Yeah, exactly. I was. Oh, wow. Well. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like we've it. It's like we've never looked back, or we we don't really. We haven't. It's weird, isn't there? There's never been um, that kind of nostalgic look uh, retrospective, has there? We've never sort of looked back at these incidents, or or no. even. It's always about the here and now. And it was funny. It was funny to just... Yeah, I mean, absolutely. I mean, they've, in some ways, they've been kind of a bit of a no-go area for yeah. all of them, haven't they? Yeah. And I think we've always been quite wary of... of um, uh, oh, dearie me. Sorry, I've just got a, a, a text in from my, my eldest. What's he saying? <laughs> he's, he's just put Mad Dog with lots of... Uh, <laughs> emojis afterwards. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, where was he when I needed to try and get onto Instagram Live? God. Yeah, where was where was he? <laughs> yeah. That's what they're there for. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, we've we've never really kind no. of wanted to to, to kind of uh, revel in that really, I guess. No, and it's it's funny because it's 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 a part of it's a part of, it's a big part of the, of all the experiences. Like, you know, the, the experiences in those days were so all encompassing, weren't they? Like you said, you yeah. play the venue, but it was everything around it. And it was also a bit like, I mean, it was very basic, like we, it had a foot in the school, didn't it? Like being at school. So it was, it had that kind of, you know, that heightened, or sort of slightly kind of yeah what was it what would you say sort of it was a sort of a it was kind of young men young men kind of you know I yeah. probably definitely did a lot of jostling and stuff like that and you know trying trying quite hard yeah <laughs> I think you did okay but um do you know I mean I was thinking because you know knowing this was coming up and i was it, it did send me on a, a little uh, um kind of reminiscing um journey and yeah. i was just thinking back to the the initial conversation i had with you ahead of uh kind of the first rehearsal and how we were we didn't know each other hugely well at the time but we both knew that we were you know kind of the band thing and, and that you know, you had the band, you, you and Tom and, and Cotton started to have this band going and looking for a drummer. And we were just kind of like skirting around each other. It was a conversation was, down at the pub. <laughs> it, was, it was on the Sunday night, wasn't it? I remember it so well and I've joked about it. It's a bit like, I mean, you know, we weren't Danny Zuko and Kaniki from Greece, but it, <laughs> but it, had, it had that kind of, that kind of, yeah, so uh, I remember saying to you, like, uh, so, uh, you know, you said to me, you said, because I, the night before, we'd done our first ever gig at a party with a drum machine. Yeah. And the, the, the drum machine had broken down. It was at um, Karen Edwards' 18th birthday party at North Inksy Rugby Club. And um, the drum machine had broken down halfway through the gig. And, and it was a disaster. And in the post-mortem afterwards, we were like, we have to get a drummer. And I didn't really know you, but you in the year above. And I was like a lot of people in your year. 
of some very strong characters in your year. Quite, yeah. you know. And you were in, you were the drummer in Jungle Telegraph, which was the coolest, the coolest <laughs> band in the school. <laughs> so you were like the coolest, you were like one of the coolest guys in Abingdon. And I remembered I said to the guys, I said, I said to Tom and Colin, and, and actually, and I said, um, I let me, I, I'm going to go to the pub tomorrow night and I'll probably see Phil Selway and maybe, you know, and they're like, wow, okay. And I did, and, you, and you'd obviously, I think you got wind of the fact, you'd heard that we were looking for a drummer. You know, like how yeah. the grapevine, I would have said that night at the party, we really need a drummer, and some would have, you know, let you know the next day. So you came up to me, and you said, so, <laughs> no, I think you knew exactly how the gig went. You said, so how did the gig go? <laughs> <laughs> and I was just like, yeah, not bad, knowing it was absolutely crap, but I wasn't going to play all my cards, you know, all our cards. <laughs> I, like, I had to hold something, you know. And um, yeah, um, we've all carried on playing our cards close to our chest ever since, haven't we? I know, but it was it was <laughs> it was yeah, it was. I I, I I it's funny. I remember that conversation really really yeah. well. I was and trying to picture where we where it took place in the in the pub as well. It was uh, in the corner. I mean, I want to say like I'm I'm sure I'm mixing by the bar by the bar exactly. Absolutely yes. It was by the bar, because I want to say... Which nothing to anybody who, who, who doesn't know the pub, but... Um, no, it was a pub in Abington strong. called Mr. Warwick's Arms. Mm. And that's where we used to drink. And, uh, yeah, I mean, listen, everybody, it's not like we, we don't do this. We don't talk no. like this, but this is... Uh, we're just, um, you know... And, yeah, it was, it was funny, and, and there was a... We, we, sorry, we just, you carry on. Yeah, we just had so, we just had so many kind of... Um, from then on, really, it was, it was, it was on this thing, wasn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Um, Do you remember yeah. the first rehearsal? Oh, God, how can I forget? <laughs> Tell everybody what, what happened. <laughs> so I, got, uh, I turned up. Um, we were. Um, uh, it, this was at school, so we we were rehearsing at school in one of the the music rooms there. And um, I remember coming in and it, it, what was unusual for a school band was that there was a lot of ir original material yeah. in there. And so kind of if there were songs kind of like, I remember in that one, we used to have songs. There was one called Lock the Door, yeah. a song called Fragile Friend. Um, and, uh, and I remember us going through through the in the rehearsal, and I was just trying to keep up and thinking, <laughs> "Oh, okay." <laughs> and so I remember Tom saying to me, "Just say, can't you play any faster?" <laughs> <laughs> I I remember when he said that. I thought, "Oh God!" I thought we've blown it. He's gonna Philip's gonna walk out. Is this gonna like you know? Because it was unusual because you were older than us. You were you were a year older than me and two years older than Tom and yeah. Colin, and you never ever. To people two years older than you and, and you tell them to can you not drum fast it's like yeah yeah you know but you know it's, it's good to set you off on, on the on the proper footing yeah and we did. was there a lot i always remember like a lot of those rehearsals there was a lot of practice there were always lots of people coming to watch yeah there was always a, there was always an audience absolutely yeah and and, and of course johnny as and well. then Johnny, Johnny was part of the audience as well <laughs> <laughs> for about a year. Yeah, in the corner. But um, yes, I, I do remember the fir very first time that I played with um, with I, I, I don't you weren't playing it in in it at, at the time, but I think it was the first time I played with Tom. Yeah, uh, it was at this. Um, it was kind of like a, a musical marathon thing. It was just went to a 24 hour. Oh yeah, I was music. there, but I, I obviously wasn't on your shift. No, you weren't. Yeah. Um, Tom, I, when I came in, Tom was playing and he was so, I, I played with Tom at that point. Yeah. And we played Dear Prudence. Yeah. Yeah. And um, yeah, so that was the very, very first time that I ever had, had kind of encountered any of you musically. Yeah. And well, that was, you know, that was okay. Uh, but then, but the rehearsal, first rehearsal, though, it was just coming away and just actually being blown away by the quality of the material, really. I, it's funny because I think I, I, I mean, looking back, it wasn't the, the, 
it wasn't, you know, it was, I think what we recognize, I felt exactly the same about it. I was just suddenly, you know, with songs like all of those songs, I thought this is amazing, amazing stuff. Mm. And, um, you know, and Fat Girl and all of those. And they were really good for that level. But, but it's interesting, I think partly maybe what you're also doing is you're tapping into the potential. I really believe that, that there's some kind of sense. There was a sort of another sense, a sixth sense going on there. Like the intuition was like, because I know that people who heard those songs and going like, well, what's all the fuss about what you, and you're going like, this is really good. But I yeah. think you have, when you're in something that feels very right, whether it's whatever it is, you have this very strong intuitive pull. And I, I've always said that, that the, the, the moment it started, it was, suddenly was like everything went into focus. And, mm -hmm. you know, we were just a school band and we were six years away from being signed. And, you know, however long, probably nine years away from making a really good album in the Benz, our first took us, you know, a long time to get to that point. But I think some, it's, it's kind of like that, that sixth sense, that intuition, you, you feel the potential of something. And that's yeah. why, you know, that's when you put, you know, you do put all your, you know, put all your chips on one, you know, what's the saying? You, you, you put everything into it because you, you have this sense of the potential. Put all your Easter eggs in one basket. I was going to put all your <laughs> chips on <laughs> Black 19. <laughs> but yeah, I, th I really think so. And it's, I think that was, and I think that was the case because Tom and Colin had been in another band. They'd been in, they were, what were they called? TNT. That's right. Oh, terrible yes. name. I mean, you know, I mean, I wasn't in a band before you guys, but, but, you know, I was having the Jungle Telegraph. I wasn't having TNT. They were yeah. sort of Blue Oyster Cult-esque, sort of with a bit of, bit of ACDC in there. TNT's yeah. a bit ACDC. Yeah, we weren't great at band names, really. At no, school, we? no. I think, though, Jungle <laughs> Telegraph, Jungle Telegraph could hold up. <laughs> no, I'm not kidding. I mean, you know, there's a, you just, you, what would have happened is you just become Jungle. Or the Graph. Yeah. <laughs> the Graph, if it was. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, I, I kind of, I think back to, to that very first rehearsal. And when I think of the kind of the dynamic that was going on there yeah. between everybody, actually, that feels very recognisable to me, even now. Yeah. You know, there, yeah. there was something there that kind of got set very quickly. And, um, and you know, I do find that. I mean, they're, they're kind of the shows that, that we do. And I can still just tap back into those um, initial rehearsals really I, I, I kind of in some ways i don't feel, feel like the spirit of it no has changed essentially where it, again in, in that band context well um, i i was i was uh, for me like throughout the years i mean the i guess the gigs are the, the my favorite part about what we do but also the rehearsals when it's just the five of us i yeah. always you know because obviously you know when you're a band and you get more people around you and there's more people involved and stuff like that. But for me, I used to love those moments at the start of a record before we went into the studio yeah. when it was just the five of us. And it, was, it goes right back to that time. So there's no sort of, you know, there's, it's just about the music, having a bit of a laugh. You know, it, was, it, 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 it does go back to that. And it, sometimes it gets complex because other people get involved and you put that thing into the wider world or you put it out and you put it into a commercial marketplace and all the pushing and pulling of the things that you have to do to release records. Sometimes that thing can get, um, can get diluted. And, but mm -hmm. that is always the essence. I think that's always, yes, it always comes back to that. And, um, you know, obviously there's brilliant collaborators, you know, Dan and Nigel and stuff like that. But Stanley and, you know, but, but it, it, the heart of it goes back to the five, those five people in a room doing it, I think. So, you know. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. 
So, have you got any more questions in your? Course? I've got no more questions. I ah. think we should. Do, I think we should do this again. If Absolutely. You'll be up for it. Do, do, do after after you after you've um after you've made your record. Yeah. Come and check in, and and it'd be great to 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 share how it went. And I'll do an I'll do another yeah. I'll do another I'll do I'll do a proper quiz. And I I think that was I. I, it was a lot better. That quiz was a lot better lying on my bed than actually uh, thinking out than actually in reality. So I'll do another one. <laughs> maybe, I, 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 maybe I should return the favour. Maybe it would be Come my on. turn to do, do the quiz. Yeah, it'd be great. <laughs> All right, Philip. All right. Ed. Happy Easter. To you as well. And yeah. apologies to everybody for the um, technical... Um, mishaps at the start no it's great it just adds to it adds to the drama <laughs> all right philip lots of love see you soon you as well all right take care take care bye